everybody, and welcome to our new playthrough. This is Layers of Fear. Now, oh boy, thinking that there we go. Um, I. Been, it's been many it's been many years many years since I've played this um, but basically this was a game that I had heard about um, before it had come out um, it was this new developer called Bloober team that I know how you must feel started working Lost. on this game and alone hopeless you probably deserve well, it I'll talk about it but even for you there is still a way a way to bring it all back I might count this a little bit the one Bad. precious thing you ever truly desired just, 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 uh, there we go. finish it Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. So, yes, uh, this new development team called Bloober Team, they, um... They had made this, uh, this new game called Layers of Fear. And uh, basically, it was kind of a mystery of what this game was. Um, and it had a really kind of disturbing understory to it. And um, yeah, it's actually not... It's not too bad of a game, but it's also not perfect. Um, so we're going to start here. And there are plenty of things to kind of look around at and pick up. Um, this is going to be a pretty short series. This game is not long at all. Um, so let's go ahead and start by... If I can remember how to pick stuff up. There we go. So this is a... An old-fashioned muzzle. This game takes place in the 20s. The 1920s. This game doesn't have any combat. It's more or less a... Walkabout kind of game. Uh, let me see if I can... And I don't think the I need to hit apply. There we go, that's better. Okay. So we have this newspaper article here. An artist's triumph. Gallery opening wows critics. Some call him the new Caravaggio. Others compare him to Van Eyck. One awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Any way you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Blank's distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancée, looking stunning in her black gown. Blank revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expecting... So, we are that artist, um, and we are married to a pianist. Dear sir, I would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialist, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a uh, prophylactic spring. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pest Pacification Co. So obviously he thinks that he has a rat problem, but they disagree. Uh, this is one of those games where you can open up all the shit, which is typically what I do, and I just kind of leave it open. 
It's, uh, it's kind of the indication that uh, you've kind of looked at everything. Because, yes, there are notes and things hidden like that inside things. There's a picture, uh, I believe, of us meeting with a person, but our face is scratched out there, so. Superior old bourbon whiskey. Okay. So we have uh, this is a, this is actually our house. Collar. Longdale Mulligan Avenue. I you know I never knew what that says. It looks like it says like Pop Kell, but I have no idea. We have the kitchen door open there fireplace. Is there anything else on the table that we can grab? This, perhaps? We have the bathroom. There's a note on this door here. It's locked. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. We have a basement. We have an upstairs as well. And a broken clock. Nice. Oh, here's all the mouse traps. And yeah, you can't trigger them. <laughs> I think there's really anything else that you can grab in here. Oh, this. Little Vinny and Partners got a rat problem. Fast, efficient, and discreet. Forget about it. The drawer's locked. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in a perfect world, it's worth to strive for perfection. Ah, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will, I will work on my temper, though. Promise we'll talk later. I love you. Letter from somebody? Sink is on, apparently. We don't have a reflection, which means we're obviously a vampire. Achilles prosthetica, one below the knee prosthesis. How the hell did they fuck up the length? So, uh, for those of you who know the story of this game, uh, I'm not going to spoil it for those who haven't. That is a little part of the story there, that, uh, that prosthesis. A little faster. Kitchen here, and a note. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made a little- made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snorted his head off with the rest of us common folk. I know, gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Bunch of metal cupboards here. Painting of fruit and stuff. Big old basket of apples. Another pantry, but this this one doesn't have a a light in it. Well, I mean, it does, but it doesn't have a way to turn on the light. This kitchen's kind of weird. Um, I know it's like the 20s and everything, but man, 
Can you imagine having a kitchen with like doors? It looks like this. It looks like an industrial like. <laughs> Everything's like this, oh, just heavy metal looking. Right, so there's a basement. Down the, into the darkness here. Ah, see, there's a rat! I knew it. Some grades. Court card, excused from class. So, reading is pretty shitty. Um, written communication's not great either. Math is shit. Science and health, shit. Social science, shit. Art and music are both fantastic. <laughs> Average grades, garbage. But passing, D, 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 and C, they passed at least. See, there's a rat. Bunch of barrels. Then there's all these dummies with this picture here. Oof. Here, we have a door that is locked. Okay, well then, well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, head back up and we'll head upstairs. Paintings on the wall here. Been working all night, don't wake me up. Stumbling all around, stumbling all around, stumbling all around. So funny. Stumbling here and there, stumbling everywhere, and I must declare. I stepped right on her toes, and when she... Thank you. The new phase of music. A night at the opera began, becomes a night to remember. Uh, might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years, stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems that even Anthony Giles, one of Blank's harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said yes. We caught up with the star. So that person would be my wife. Um, she, like I said, she's a pianist. Well, she she plays piano mostly. She's a, it's multi instrumentalist, but Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-winded opening of the Galactic department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exit in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. Uh, the exact number of casualties has not been yet determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. Oh, boy. That just goes to show how much of an alcoholic I am. What's up a door with this weird shit? It's locked, however. The piano. Some sheet music. Okay. 
This door's locked. This is a child's room. Oh, joy. Just a rattle here. That's all I got from that. Tons of blocks. Drawing of a man, a child, and what looks like a creepy woman. This little toy soldier. Back across we go to the office. True story behind the picture of Dorian Gray. Was it true all along? Was Dorian Gray real? here. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. There's the key. Oh, and the music's gone. Oh, never mind. There we go. Right, right, right here. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you lo completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place, for old times' sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. But I didn't expect what I didn't expect to get is to get these demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to payment in advance. Please get your shit together, your old pal Liam Brickstone from Whisper Tale Publishing House. So these are the uh, illustrations that we've made. Yep, the minted nightmare fuel indeed. All right, so we got the key. So let's go ahead and head back downstairs. So this is uh, basically the room where everything takes place. Uh, you start everything here, basically. Tons of paintbrushes. And each chapter, basically, opens up a new one of these. Tons of bottles. Even more bottles. And then these are the rat pictures that you can get. Uh, you actually collect these through the chapters. Little rat drawings. There's nothing in there. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. So obviously, the husband and wife, they communicate through these notes and stuff.
These are the little mementos that you can pick up as well. They end up in that diary. And lost it, you deserve, finish it. All right. Get it right this time. All right, well, this is where we shall begin. There's Kylo Ren, so let's go ahead and get started. Reconnect with your partner, rebuild your relationship, rediscover the joy of marriage. So obviously they were having problems with their marriage. Just out of reach. Devil going in circles. Dear sir and madam, we must kindly, a bit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern to us, and especially our children. Please consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. Sincerely, your very tired neighbors. So they obviously were very loud in uh, their arguing. We got some busts here. Things. Oh. Five, four, eight. Let's see here. Save the date. Uh, blank requests the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday, the 9th of June, in St. Lucas Chapel. Uh, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Wedding invitation there. My controller batteries are low. Five, four, eight. Whispering coming from this box. Past holds back. The Look thought closer. alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? So, this is back when times were happier. This is their engagement ring. Never forget. Door's locked, you can go it that way. Let me 
close. Let me open this real quick. You've been snooping around my workshop again. For the last time, you are not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. Oh. Oh, dear. There's another rat trap here. Okay, spin the globe a little bit. Open that up. I can't see. There we go. Just corner a little bit. Oh, here we go. Oh god. So obviously we have a little bit of insanity. Falling through the floor. Okay, let's head back up these steps. Now that baby thing is on top of the deer. The hole in the floor is gone. Joy. Paintings are like double paintings. It's like there's one painting and another on top of it. <laughs> Paint deep lies. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> so he used to paint his wife. Or he, well, he used to draw his wife, anyway. Alright, let's see, what do we have in here? There they are. Oh boy. It was a person. It was in the shape of a person. Looks like they're all hanging. There's just a hole here now. Oof. All right. So now we're in here. There's 
There's like an outside area here with all these bricks. Hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Hormone imbalances and the like. When we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I'd ask her what she wanted for lunch, and she just burst into tears. There'd, uh, just be there for her, and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now, I know I promise not to rush you, and by all means, enjoy your well-deserved time off. But just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up to yin-yang, commissions left and right. You're a hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike the iron while it's hot, but of course, the family comes first. So, him and his wife had a child... Got married, they had a child. <laughs> oh boy, the crying begins. Is that a tree outside or Hello? It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Okay, well we have two doors. Which leads into that. The other is locked, so... Guess we're going in here. Broken glass. First step is the hardest. Okay, well we opened these when we were there the first time, but is there anything in here now? for one of the painting. And it turns into just an empty bowl. First, Something here. I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. So we got a piece of skin. Talking about using skin for a canvas. And here we are.
We are. Hate even now, lost. You deserve it. Finish it. We've got our first piece. Okay, well, so we know that they had a. We know that. Uh, so, what do we know so far? We know that we have this painter who got married to his pianist wife, and they had a child. But obviously things are going to get a little worse than that. Shapeless dreams. So we have an elevator here. Catches on. Can I go the other way. Okay, well. Locked. Let's see here. Those are all locked as well. Oh boy, you see the paint the painting? out at us. Dear sir, while I, I certainly understand that you are upset and I have nothing but sympathy for you, for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand how your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think that writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will uh, ameliorate this situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, you can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get you through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, M.D. So, his wife had an accident. Um... Where she need, she had a she had an accident, and obviously we thought that the doctor didn't do a very good job. Did I take that key that was in there? I didn't. Uh. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. So you just listen to her play piano while uh, he painted. Right. 
Still don't know if that's a tree out there or a demon monster. Oof. The uh, elevator is sunk back down just a little bit. Upstairs there. That door's locked, so I guess we're going up here. There's a f there's a fire in that room. Sorry, what? Oh, great. It's filled with blood. All right. I'm gonna put an inno on that. This room now with a broken chair that's somehow still standing. Make up your mind. Okay. Warning signs. The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should not and should be and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should con contact a qualified specialist, i.e., psychologist, psychi uh, psychologist, or psychiatrist. Psychiatrist? Link expression stares off into space. Yes. Involuntary facial movements. Yes. Insomnia. I haven't noticed. Unusual gestures or postures. Always had that. Unable to experience joy from activities. Definitely. De de uh, depersonalization. What does that even mean? Awkward. Clumsy movement. Might be from the accident. Prone to anger or resentment. More passive aggressive. Lack of motivation. Yes. Suicidal tendencies? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Exclamation. 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 Okay, we've got a brick-up wall here. Can I open these? No. Alright, let's see here. Back in here again. There's a bust. Here. Turn some goddamn lights for good measure. Spin the globe again. at the big deer again.
My god, it appears the roof keeps caving in. Even though there's no holes. Double paintings. Like a brooch. Man, you gotta be a heavy smoker to have like a pipe rack. Like Like even stoners probably only have like a bong, maybe a dab kit, if they're into that. And maybe a couple pipes, but it's like six pipes? Bottom, there we go. There's some rope. Burned. Titties. Titties, uh, bust. It's a busty bust. I can dig some fruit. Actually, we just got a bunch of, uh, stuff today. Delivered some fruit. Um, delivered raspberries, strawberries, and dried cranberries. If y'all ever had, like, um, like, dried cranberries, man, you're missing out. Okay. Woo! Ooh. I went through the mirror dimension. I... You can't hurt me. I'm in the mirror dimension. This is where we practice our magic. that I don't wish to be a part of. You want this as well? There's a wheelchair here. A once great artist, Blank's new painting laughed out of galleries. What we witnessed today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Hughes. The famed critic was one of the first to appreciate the works of and who's, uh, of Blank and whose praise once contributed to his first spectacular success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events, Hughes responded as critics, it is our duty to critique art but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately, and obviously it has taken a toll on him. Still, if we were if we were to remain silent and pretend this is even remotely acceptable, we'd be doing the artist a disservice. Other critics were only slightly more lenient as the... So, basically we made a painting that everyone hated. I mean, it was laughed out of gal... Fuck. Hey man, I don't play this game. All right, what do we got here? We got a locked door. We got a second locked door. More paintings. Afraid to turn around. Oh. oh, 
Oh boy. Oh look, it's a smaller one. Hey. Oh dear. Wheelchairs burning in the ground. Okay, so we can go that way. We can go that way. Looks like the same place. I think it is. Oh, my ceiling fan! Why? September 12th. She's been at it again. Earlier in the day, I found more of her reviews. Little notes stuck to one of my latest paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read about my work. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, she knows me well enough to know what really gets to me. I just can't believe she would use that against me. Worst thing is, when I confront her about it, she claims she hadn't written any, written any of them. Like, I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus. Does she really hate me that much, or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know what to do anymore. Jesus. Thanks. Alright. Well, I have this here. Just painting here. locked. The door came open. Jesus. Of lights in here. Well, not a bunch, but let's see. Um, no, it's and there's a key here. Oh dear. This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. So I have a bad leg. Obviously you can hear him walking with the cane. Can I go through here now? Or do I go back? I do go 
go through here. Unleash your inner beauty. Very well, the acting scars and large pores, other unpleasant skin conditions. There's whispering there, but nothing to see. The bed looks weird. Take the record, we on the record player and so this is as fast as I can go I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Oof. Uh, I'd like to get out of this room, please. I've now turned the record. Dumbling all around, dumbling all around, dumbling all around. It's so funny. Dumbling here and there, dumbling everywhere, and I must declare. I get my nose, my nose, my nose, my nose. I know that I fell, and when I rose, I fell to shame. Dumbling all around, dumbling all around, dumbling all around. It's so funny. And there we go. Everything's gone back to normal. Thank God, I went out. And we're back in here. You can't stand seeing you like uh, you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night. Now that you're there, you are locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. We keep checking these. Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little Look something I'm focused on my work. That's all. Form emerges. So there we go, we had the skin and now we have the blood.
right. Okay, so then uh, next time we'll uh, we'll go on with uh, chapter three. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all on the next part of Layers of Fear. Take care and goodbye.